Hi, my name is Taylor. I'm with Valleyscape Irrigation in Marietta. I like to do these helpful videos, and if you're watching this video, you might be asking, how long do I need to run my sprinkler system for my grass? So we're in Southern California. We typically, in our area, deal with tall fescue. About 97% of the lawns are tall fescue. So we're gonna talk about that grass because it's most common for us, uh, but you may have different grass. So you may need to research what the water requirements are for the type of grass that you have. So let's get going. So uh, tall fescue. In the summertime, you, the tall fescue needs about an inch and a half to two inches per week of precipitation. Okay, and you can research online, uh, different colleges put out some different papers about the water requirements for different types of grass. So you can actually look at the month of, we're in September now, you can look at the requirement for September for a typical month of September. Always variables with the weather, so keep that in mind. So we're gonna take our month right now, so we're just gonna say two inches of water is required per week. It's kind of hot right now. We're actually getting some pretty high temperatures. So what? here are the factors though that you need to consider when you're figuring out how much time you need to give the water for the grass. Here's a layout of a small rectangular lawn. You can tell these uh, it's laid out well. These red dots are sprinkler heads. There's a lot of cross coverage. Everything's getting covered very consistently and evenly. This is bad coverage. Unfortunately, we see this more than we should on existing lawns. Again, red dots or sprinkler heads. Everywhere in this lawn is gonna get wet, but it's not getting consistently wet. This side's gonna get a little more water than this side. This over here is gonna have a tendency to be more dry. Keep that in mind. Look at how your sprinkler system is laid out, okay? So if you have a system like this, you will have to compensate by watering longer to keep all of it looking good. So unfortunately, uh, you may need to water closer to like two and a half inches, three inches on the good side to equal two inches on the area that's getting bad coverage. Next step, you gotta look at your sprinkler system and see what type of sprinklers you have, what the output is, okay? So they are measured in precipitation rate or inches per hour. Most traditional pop-up heads the old school ones are about two inches of water per hour that's applied, that they run. So again, we're gonna assume that your system is pretty well done, pretty well laid out, coverage is good uh, throughout. So in order to get two inches of water out on the grass uh, in a week, if, you water, if your sprinkler system puts out two inches of water per hour, you guessed it, you have to water for 60 minutes, of course, you don't want to do that all at one time, you space it out throughout the week. So if you were to water 10 to 12 minutes per day and you watered six days a week or seven, uh, five days a week, that would get you to that two inches of water per week. Okay, so again, there's a lot of information online. Look for your grass type, what the requirements are, specifically for the month you're in. Look at the conditions. Is there a lot of shade? Is it a lot of sun? Is it very windy all the time? And then look at your sprinkler system coverage. Is it good or is it a little bit uh, leaving some to be desired? So all these factors help you to come up with an answer. And if you have any further questions, we're more than happy to help. Keep in mind too, new low precipitation heads like the MP rotator or the Rainbird rotator nozzle water much, much slower. They're closer to like 0.4, 0.5, inches per hour so you will have to water quite a bit longer with those but that's a good thing because you get the water deeper into the soil thanks for watching and i hope that this video has helped you today